Okay, I am at 529 Cabin Drive. Cute home. This home is on a cul-de-sac right here. Nice a long driveway as well as the other home. This is a little overgrown, like it's kind of hard to really walk on this, so that would just need to be trimmed back a little bit, along with these bushes that kind of... And I would also trim those down, because you can't really... You don't really have a view on the porch with all those bushes. But really nice big porch, nice and wide. Over here offers some privacy. train. Alright, walking in. You have the stairs to the right here. Let me back the camera up a little bit. There's no light in this room, so you would need a lamp. Walking over here. A nice little offer pad sign. Have a little coat closet. Nice open kitchen. Nice granite countertops you have here. You have a nice little island, additional space over here. Have your oven, dishwasher, additional space on this side, microwave. You would need to purchase a refrigerator. Over here would be your pantry space. And you have a little half bathroom in here. Let's see if you can get the light. We have sort of a step down here, it kind of slants down just a little. Door handles you have are updated. Over here is where you have your washer and dryer and the entryway to your garage. Some storage above the washer and dryer. Here is the garage. You have your hot water tank over here. A little bit of storage space. We have a bunch of different shelves for storage. There's your garage. Over here you have a room above the garage. It is considered a frog front room above the garage. Very nice space. You got the front of the house this way. I still just have access to the attic and also you can store some things. Same on that side. <coughs> okay, so this is just the leads right to the bedrooms too, the entryway to the house is right there. So it's nice to have two sets of stairs that lead to the same place. Here is the bathroom. A little dated on that. You could easily rip that out and update it. Fairly easy. Over 
Over here you have a bedroom, a little bit small. Not a bad size, but. Okay, over here you have another bedroom. Same type of closet space. We have a little linen closet here and another bedroom. You can see kind of the backyard from up here, maybe. Got some trees. Okay, last but not least, you have the owner suite. Really nice size. <clears throat> Overlooks the front of the house here. Hmm. I was wondering what this stuff was on the ground, but it's from someone must have pulled. You got your attic space in here too. So that's kind of inconvenient if you have to go up there for things. You're walking over here, you have your master bathroom. Countertops are definitely a little dated, but they're still in pretty good shape. So here's your mirror. You have a little fan in here. Nice deep linen closet. Here is the shower. Definitely a little small. And then you have a soaking tub. And this, you would need definitely a curtain or maybe try to put that film on it where you can't be seen. And then you have your toilet. That's the stairs leading back down stairs. So you have your master, you have bedroom one, bedroom two, bedroom three, and then you have your bathroom here, and you have then this like loft area that could be used as a bedroom, but also, um, I don't, whatever else you need it for. It's a huge space over here. And all the carpet is in really good shape, actually. Just a pretty light carpet, so it would definitely stain easily, especially if you have animals. <clears throat> you have a thermostat up here and one downstairs. So there you have it. So I don't know what you would use this space for unless you added some doors here and really closed it off to be an office or workout room or something because you have your living room in here with the fireplace. Add a little table here. No popcorn ceiling in this house. Okay, let's take a look at the backyard real quick. Okay. A little step down. Slam pretty hard. So you can definitely see your neighbors over here. Seems like they really loved their bushes here. Because there is a lot. Nice size backyard though. It's fully fenced. 
Might be a little broken on that side though. The fence. But that is the house.